Originally, when I started this channel, I didn't expect anything of it. Simply put, I just wanted to make content on video games that I was passionate about. I've had multiple YouTube channels in the past, some pretty successful, a couple thousand subscribers here and there, and I didn't enjoy the content that I was creating. I started this one because I was a fan of the Bioshock series, I was a fan of The Last of Us, etc. And I really wanted to make content on those games. Now that I'm focusing on games that I actually am passionate about, I feel that the video quality has gone up. And also, I need to thank you guys for that. Because without your support, there would be no motivation to make videos. There would be no motivation to do live streams. So, thank you. And also, thank you for 800 subs. Here... I pride myself on having one of the better communities, in my opinion, I've ever had as far as my YouTube channels are concerned. I can put out videos that you guys really seem to enjoy, and then when you guys comment down below, I really want to take the time to just try and talk or respond to all the comments there. Whenever someone comes to the live streams, I try to respond to all the messages in chat. So. I love having this community that we have here. I love this Rapture family, that's simply put. So, over the past couple of months, I've made some speculation videos about a new Bioshock, right? So, a lot of those were my opinions or my predictions as to, let's say, where it would take place, a potential storyline, to that extent. But I've never done a video on what you guys would want. So with that being said, I've gone through some of the past couple of videos where I've talked about those subjects and I've pulled some of the top comments from each video. We're gonna go over them and let's see what you think. If you have any or any other suggestions, predictions, anything of that sort, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below at the end of the video, now, whenever, it's up to you. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So to kick things off right, we have my most upvoted comment on any of my videos across my entire channel. So if this does come, that being a new Bioshock, and again, if you guys want to check out the videos that these comments are posted on, I'll leave them in the description or I'll put them on the end screen at the end of the video. But he says, if this does come, please don't be a sequel to Infinite. Now, personally, I wouldn't have an issue with that just because I love the infinite universe and the aspects of the infinite universe. Whereas, let's say a setting is concerned, I'm not exactly sure. There's so many possibilities that they can do with that. They could go back to Rapture, which in my personal opinion makes the most amount of sense from both a game series standpoint and a business standpoint. If 2K and Take Two want to actually make money off of a new Bioshock, they're going to put it back in Rapture. That is what the game is synonymous with. Rapture. So, being a sequel to Infinite, maybe not so plausible. But, somehow connected, that might be the, I guess, overall case here. This next comment refers to the five possible locations video that I did on a new Bioshock. And this comes from Herb Coswell with his predictions. So, his preferred locations would be 6, an alternate version of Columbia. Basically, that goes hand in hand with the last comment that I read. I wouldn't mind it, but the plausibility of it just doesn't seem likely. Number 5, pre-Bioshock Rapture, or a new Rapture built post-Bioshock 2. This is the one that I would love to see the most. We got a glimpse and a little taste of it in Burial at Sea Episode 1, I personally would love this. I want to see the rapture that I know and love before the Civil War. Back in its heyday, when it was running 100%. That's the rapture that I really want to play in. And who knows, maybe it would be a good idea for them to have you pick a side leading up to the Civil War. Do you want to side with Andrew Ryan? Do you want to side with Atlas? I think that would be a pretty cool dynamic to the series and the overall game. Number four, a location on land. Not quite sure how plausible this one is. This one, 
is a pretty vague uh, location just because there's so much there and really nothing suggests that it would do that within the series and the games that we've already played. Number three, an alternate reality where the Y2K apocalypse happened. Again, not quite sure how plausible that is. A Russian base on Mars is at number two, and I'm not sure why it would be Russian. Maybe because something to do with Andrew Ryan, even though I just don't see that happening. And then, number one, a Rocky Mountain-like location run by a death cult. So again, not quite plausible, just because there's no evidence suggesting that from Bioshock, Bioshock 2, or Bioshock Infinite. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Now this next comment is one that I probably agree with the most, and that's just for the simple fact that you guys know how much I enjoy this series. You know how much I love making videos on the series, how much I love playing it, how much I love live streaming it, and you guys seem to enjoy the series as well. And same thing with The Last of Us, but that's a different video for a different day. So with this being said, Amazing Man 302 says this, Listen man, I loved the old Bioshock games. I don't care if they add any of the old characters back, obviously except for dead ones, just don't make it a carbon copy. So for me, sure, put it back in Rapture, I would love that. Put it back in Columbia, I'd love that. Just don't make it the same storyline from either Bioshock 1, 2, or Infinite. I want a new game. You can keep the same settings, but I want a new game. I want a new storyline, I want new gameplay, new plasmids, new vigors, whatever they decide to go with. I just want something new. I want a new experience in the Bioshock universe, and I think you guys can agree with that as well. Now this last comment that I want to share with you guys today is the one that I want to go into most detail about. So with that being said, Dylan Higginson says, honestly, I'd love to see the franchise come back to its roots, but for now, I'm more worried about when the next game comes out rather than where, because if the next game is crap, people will still buy it because Take-Two knows that the fans are craving some delicious Bioshock, and we've waited long enough. So I believe it was either the president or the CEO of Take-Two Interactive a couple of years ago stated in an article or in an interview that he wanted to make Bioshock a permanent franchise at Take-Two along with 2K Games. So honestly, I don't think it's a matter of if we get a new game, I more or less think it's a matter of when. Personally, I think that the most plausible time for them to release a new game would be after Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out because obviously Take-Two is the parent company of Rockstar. So, that's that. But, I'm not really worried about the game being bad. I have faith that they're going to make a good game. I really do. And I want to have that faith. I don't want to have to go into, let's say, a trailer worrying about if the game's going to be bad or not. So, that's that. Let me know what you guys think about this comment or any of the other comments in the video down in the comments section below. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to see videos like this in the future where I actually have a community discussion with you guys, let me know. If you want to support the video, feel free to do so, because then that's going to show me that you guys want more videos like this. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, would you kindly tap the like button? It helps the video get out there, and it helps the channel grow. And speaking of that, if you want to help the Rapture family grow, become a subscriber today or share the content. It's really easy to do, and it helps me out a ton. Other than that, if you want to stay up to date with me outside of YouTube or just talk to me about anything in general, my Twitter will be down in the description if you guys want to follow me on that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, and talk to you in the next video.